Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. It is time for another Christmas present idea. And this is a quick and easy project that is kind of a fun one to do and it makes most people a little confused about, wait a second, how did you get that bolt into the wood when there's a piece on either side? Uh, it's just kind of a confusing thing. It's a lot of little fun, but uh, my kids really enjoy it and they come in all different designs and styles. So today we are going to be making this one. And if you want to see how it actually gets in there, you'll have to stick around to the end. <laughs> so let's dive in and build this sucker. For these blocks, this is one that I made, uh, I think three years ago for Christmas. Um, and they're kind of fun and you can make them all different ways as long as there is a block for the bolt or nail to go through and there's another one to stop it so it can't come out. They're always fun for the kids because the kids are trying to figure out how do they get the bolt out of the block. It won't come out. <laughs> so we're gonna be making a simple one like this with three lobes and one bolt in the middle. We're gonna be doing this out of Douglas fir. Uh, is my preferred wood for this, but most any pine will work very well. It crushes easily, and so you can get the pieces you need out of this. The one thing you wanna look at is the grain on this. Uh, this area here is pretty close to quarter sawn. You can see how the grain lines are going up and down. That's what you're looking for. Over here, it's flat sawn. You can see the ring coming through. The problem with flat sawn is if you do that, uh, this middle piece will probably chip out here, and so you'll have these chunks that uh, fall off. And so with the flat sawn, it doesn't work as well, and they don't crush quite as well. as. So what we're looking for is perfect are these where the grain is running across the piece. This allows this to crush down nicely. And so we're going to be cutting our pieces out of here. Let's do it. So these blocks are about four inches long by about two inches tall. I say about because I don't really know, I just made that looks about right. And then I want to cut out uh, two notches. I want the outside here and the outside here to be a little longer than the bolt I'm using. The bolt I'm using is a two and a quarter inch. So there's about two and a half inches from this wall here to this wall here. And then about a th three quarter inch gap and about a three quarter inch gap. But since I already have them here, I'm just going to transfer these marks onto another block and continue the cut. Now the next line I need to make is a baseline that I cut down to. And this line will determine how thick the bottom of this is. And I normally put that right around three quarter inch. I don't measure it out. I just know it's about that length. And make a line here. And that way I can cut down to that line. Now we need to chop out the middle sections of each of these. And this you have to be very careful because if you hit it too low on the block, you'll actually pop this whole thing out and it could tear off more than you want. So I'm gonna start up high and then slowly work my way down. So I'm gonna start down about a quarter inch, take a chop or two, move down a quarter inch, and continue on down. Once I get close, I'm not gonna go all the way through. I'm gonna stop a little ways away so that I can clean it up from the other side.
So now that we have these cut out, it's time to do the magic. And what you want to do is actually soak them in water. And what we're going to do is put them in so that at least the bottom nub, if not the second nub as well, are completely submerged and have something hold them in place. And we're going to let them boil for five or six minutes. Then we can pull them out, and that's when we can actually crush these down. And you'd be amazed at how much you can actually crush this down from two inches down to almost a half inch. And that's where you can actually drill the hole and put the bolt in. So let's actually go boil these down and see what we gotta do with that. Bumper, toil, and trapper. So now we've had this sitting in here for 24 hours or so, and I can see that there's no moisture on any of this anymore. Now we can open it up and take this off. So we're gonna take the clamp off, and oh my, it's still small. Now we have enough space we can drill a hole and put a bolt in there. Let's do that. Now when I put this in here, I want to make sure that the bolt is not sliding against the end because when this comes up, it might catch the head of the bolt and crush it. So we want to keep the bolt away from this piece as it expands. So I'm going to put it in there just flat and then put some weight to hold it down so it doesn't move around too much. Let that expand. Now we have let this sit for another 24 hours and let it dry out completely. So now this is back to its full size. Uh, we can actually smooth this out. Now it's never going to expand completely back to its full size. It's a slightly less, but it's only a couple shavings different between the one that was crushed down and the others. So what we're gonna go is we're gonna smooth out this whole thing, chamfer off the outside corners, and it's basically gonna be ready for finish. We just wanna be careful when smoothing it out that we support all these because it is a, a, an easy pine. You can break one of these off and we wanna try not.
There you have it, a fairly simple, quick project. It takes about three days to make because of the different steps of uh, actually letting it dry out. But in each day, it only takes you know, 15, 20 minutes, maybe 30 at most for the day you cut it all out. So it's a fairly easy project to make and you can make a bunch of them quickly together. It makes a good little present to confuse things and make your family wonder, wow, how did he get that in there? <laughs> So I hope you like this. We'll be doing a couple others like this over the next couple weeks, heading up to Christmas. So if you have any questions or ideas, let me know down in the comments below. And I think that'll about do it for today. Until next time, have a wonderful day. So there's a bolt in a block. If it were a head, it would be called Frankenstein.